video, I'm showing y'all how to get this makeup look. And there's a twist. This looks actually really affordable. I use drugstore products and then products that are drugstore prices, but you know, you purchase them online and stuff like that. The eyes are inspired by like kind of a sunset, like halo eye. So yeah, if you want to see how I created this, continue watching. Also, I feature a brand. They sent me some products, Carity Cosmetics. These products, this quality is identical to high end honestly if you like mac morphe all that stuff this is the brand for you and i'll be showing swatches and stuff like that so yeah also i wanted to share with you guys i'm not sponsored with them but if you want to find like affordable makeup online that's like not drugstore or drugstore it doesn't really matter but especially high-end products download the app mercari and i'm not sponsored by them at all this is just me like giving you guys some advice because I use that a lot and you can buy high-end makeup for low prices. It's kind of like not really eBay, but kind of like eBay for makeup. There's other objects on there too. Again, they don't know who I am. I'm just giving you all my link. So yeah, if I ever sell anything on there or want to buy your old stuff, just sign up with that link. Again, just trying to help you guys out. Let's get on with the video. The first product I used was this e.l.f. palette and I didn't film that because Pretty much do the same step. I ran out of my Anastasia brow pomade, but I just used it the same way I would that. Because I really wanted to jump on into eyes because I have new shadows that are affordable. It's actually like a whole palette that I customized myself. However, each eyeshadow was $4. Can we take a moment? The brand is Carity Cosmetics. I'll have the link down below. But it's basically a drugstore eyeshadow is literally $7 and each of these were $4. I have nine shadows right here and I'm going to swatch them out and give you guys some close-ups. These are basically dupes for MAC though. I'm just going to swatch them all for you and I'm going to do all my eyeshadow with these shadows because there's more than enough. Okay, so let's get on to the swatching portion. This first shade is called Patina and it's kind of silver and it's a great highlight shade. The next shade is Shrile and it's kind of a lighter brown but it's the same consistency and this is great for your lid as well as Confidential which is kind of just a darker version of Shrile and these three shades are great on the lid. Then moving to the darker shades, Cortine, it kind of has like a coppery shade and then Diva is also just like Cortine but it's more pink and definitely more red. Tar is definitely a knockoff for the Urban Decay Naked 3, I think it's Nooner. Yeah, it's great matte and to put in your crease. And then Vice, which is great for your outer corner. It's kind of like a dark shimmery purple, but it shows up a little bit less purple. Then Rush, which is a beautiful orange shade, which is great for your crease. It's definitely very matte. And then the next shade, Sanguine. It is also just like Rush, only it's yellow. Great for your crease, lid, anything like that. Now that you guys know what all the shades look like, I'm going to be putting them on my eyes and telling you which ones I'm using. So you can see the products in action. I'm going to start out by using the shade Tarte as a transition shade right in my crease. And keep in mind these shadows are extremely pigmented. A little goes a long way so I'm not applying much and I'm just going to be blending a lot. The next shade I'm going in with is Courtine. This shade has a red tone to it but it's more of a copper. The next shade I'm going to be using is Diva, I'm taking that down here a little bit because I am creating a halo eye effect. So yeah, I'm just taking that all in the crease and then dragging it down just a tad bit. The lesson here is to just blend, blend, blend. This next shade is called Vino and I'm going in with it in my inner corner and my outer corner again because we're doing a halo eye. I'm going in with the shade Rush next because I want it to have more of like a sunset look if that makes sense and be more of an orange tone and this is the perfect shadow for that. In my lower lash line I'm going in with the shade Diva and yeah this shade is definitely probably my favorite it is just beautiful. Okay, we're not done now we're going to work on the lid and I really want the lid to be bright and kind of gold tone. I'm going in with the shade Trial and this is definitely kind of a champagne shade and I'm just popping that right in the center of my lid. As you can see it's really pigmented and I've not even used Fix Plus or anything. It's just straight out of the pan. 
I'm also using patina in the very inner corner. And a tad bit on my brow bone. In order to blend it to where it's more of a halo, I'm going back in with the dark shade and applying that again, kind of blending it a little bit. And then I'm going in with Diva again in the crease and kind of in the outer corner because blending is the major key. Next, I'm taking the Balm Mr. Right Now pencil and putting that in my top line and water line. I'm not going to show that because I think that's like really disgusting when people draw it on camera. That didn't do a ton, but it definitely made the look a bit more bronzed. I'm going in with this Girlactic Precise Eyeliner Marker, and it's not drugstore. However, it's not high-end either. It's kind of like ColourPop price range. Yeah, so I'm just lining my eye and doing a cat eye. I don't really want to use lashes for this look because I want to keep it a bit softer. So I'm going in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara. And yeah, I really like this product. Um, I'll probably not film me putting it on just because like you guys know how to do mascara. This is kind of the finished eye look. However, I am going to correct it with concealer by just aligning around it. And this is the Carity Concealer. And yeah, I'm just going to highlight my eyes with this and blend it out. As you can tell, that literally corrects any mistakes. Now I'm just highlighting with my Carity Concealer Palette. And this is another affordable thing. Literally correcting and seal. It has everything. And I'm also going to be using this as kind of like a contour. But yeah, you guys will see that here in a minute. I'm just applying a ton because I want to have fun with it. And I'm just going to blend it out with the Beauty Blender. This concealer is so creamy and it's blending so easily as you guys can tell. I'm now going to set that with some banana powder on my Beauty Blender and I'm not baking. I'm just like, you know, patting it into my skin automatically. But it's still banana powder, so it's still going to really brighten me up. Next, I'm using the KRD brush, actually. And this is F24. And this is like a knockoff of that NARS flat contour brush. Let's take a moment because that brush is like 70 something dollars And this was like $11. I'm just going in with this shade right here. And I'm just going to like contour and blend it out. Yeah, I've never really cream contoured. So we'll see how this goes. Now I'm going to attempt to contour my nose because why not? I never really do, even though people comment like, I can see where you contoured your nose. Like, no honey, that's the structure. But yeah, I'm just going to contour it lightly just to see what happens. I really enjoy this concealer palette right now. That looks really harsh because of the lighting and everything, but 10 out of 10 would recommend this palette. Great for all skin tones because there's like a million shades. I'm going in with blush and for blush, I'm using a NYX blush. What the heck? You know, I just like forgot about it because I don't wear blush too often, but yeah, just loading that up. That looks terrible. Kiddos, this is why you blend, all right? I'm actually going to use that patina shade because why not? Multi purpose products are bomb. So, yeah, I'm just highlighting my nose. Any eyeshadow, to be honest, can be a highlighter if you believe in yourself. Um, I do not recommend dipping a huge brush in your eyeshadow palettes. 
going on with lips and for that I'm using this Starlux lip pencil again not drugstore but not high end either it's just a nude pencil though I figured you guys could find a ton of dupes for this <laughs> just like a my lip color but better kind of shade you know like it's just a little bit pinker but I'm just gonna use this wet and wild lipstick and it is in the shade Java and these are like 99 cents so yeah okay this is the completed look Get ready for some shots of me feeling myself. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, check out Carity. The link is down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. All my social media will be down below if you want to keep up with me. Thank you guys so much for 100K again. And yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye guys.